In this video, I will be reviewing this Mawano AUPM422 microphone kit. I will be covering in my review first the unboxing very quickly. Don't worry, I will not bore you with the unboxing. And then I'm going to also show you the build quality of the microphone. I'm going to talk about the specifications. I'm going to talk also about the controls. And of course, also, I will be performing a sound test of the microphone. And I will be comparing it to the Mawano AU903 Ferry microphone. So let me start first with the unboxing of this microphone. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see better. So let me open up the box. In the box you have the user manual, a welcome card, you have a foam filter, so this is like a windscreen. You have the pop filter, it's really big, it has the Mawano logo here, which is very nice. And then here, this is a shock mount. The design is really nice, it's different than the other design with the elastics and everything. It's better in my opinion. You have 2.5 meters USB-A to USB-B cable. You have the boom arm. It is light, but at the same time, it feels really good. And this is a Velcro tape. So this is like to arrange the cable on the boom arm. And this here is a boom arm holder also. So this is like this. Put it on the table. It is padded, which is nice here. And this is the microphone. So let me remove the box so that I can show you everything that came with the microphone. So this is the microphone. Let me peel off the protection. So let me show you everything that came with the microphone. So this is everything that came with the microphone. So let me put these aside and talk a little bit about the build quality of the microphone. And I'm going to touch also about the build quality of the accessories. So the microphone is really, really well built. It has no faults at all. It is of solid metal. This is here like a mesh metal. And the control is really well weighted and well built. There's nothing to say about the build quality really. And all the accessories also, which is good about them, is that they feel sturdy, but they are really lightweight. So they are made like from a metal that is really lightweight. So I'm going to hook up now the microphone to my computer and show you a little bit the controls of this microphone. So this is a provided cable. Insert the USB-B port here, like this. And let me insert it in my computer. And the microphone lights up, as you notice. So to talk about the controls of this microphone, you have here the gain control. It is really well weighted. I'm going to show you later, of course, how to adjust the microphone gain for the best quality. You have also here a headphone output jack. This is a 3.5 millimeter output jack to monitor the output of the microphone. And this here is a mute button. This is a touch button. So if you touch it lightly, it will mute the microphone and the light here becomes red. To unmute it, simply touch it like this and it will be unmuted. So let me now talk a little bit about the specifications of this microphone. This is a cardioid microphone. It means that it picks up the voice from in front of the microphone in a pattern like this. And it has a frequency response rate from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. And also it is a USB microphone. So it is plug and play. As soon as you plug it in your Windows 10 or your Windows 11 PC, it will work seamlessly. And it will also work seamlessly if you plug it in your Mac computer. So let me show you very quickly how to assemble the microphone. First, you need to put the shock mount into the boom arm here. So just screws in like this very easily. After you put the shock mount in the boom arm, you need to put the microphone in the shock mount. So the shock mount has two sides. 
This side here has a raised border, so this is where the microphone should go. So just screw it in like this here quickly. And then to continue tightening it, just hold the shock mount here like this and then tighten it. So now the microphone is on the shock mount. And then for the shock mount here, you need to put this here. So this is like the handle. You put it here and you screw it here like this. Do not tighten it here now, just tighten it after you install it. So now I'm going to install this holder here on my desk and I'm going to come back when everything is installed. So this is how I installed the microphone. This is the boom arm. And you notice the velcro tape here. I always leave some slack on the cable. Always do this in case you want to adjust the microphone so that you don't like pull on the cable. It is really sturdy. I put it here on my desk. So let's switch now to my webcam and perform the sound test. So now I switch to my webcam and I'm using the Mawono AUPM422 microphone to record my voice. And I'm going to show you when you plug in your microphone to a Windows computer, what you need to do to make sure that it is the default microphone. So I'm going to switch now to my Windows 11 desktop. So when you plug in the microphone to your Windows computer, here I am using Windows 11, but the same steps apply to Windows 10 also. So go to settings and then settings under system, choose sound and in sound here, scroll down and you have your input and you have the microphones that are connected to your computer here so as you see here i have my mawono ferry i have my five fine and i have the mawono aupm 422 which is not the default one so i'm gonna select it and when you select it here click on the arrow or on device properties if you're in windows 10 and make sure that the input volume is at 100. So here you put the input volume at 100 and we're gonna adjust the input volume with the mic gain here. So here close this and open Audacity and position the microphone like at a comfortable space from your mouth. So here it is approximately at 20 to 25 centimeters from my mouse. So in Audacity here, click on first here to make sure that you're selecting the right microphone. So the Mawono AUPM422 was recognized as USB 2.0 microphone by Windows. And then click on here, click to start monitoring. And here make sure that your voice is between minus 24 dB and minus 6 dB. So this is optimum gain for any microphone. So let me close Audacity now. So now that we set up the microphone in Audacity like, and we set up the gain, the gain was 100% in Windows and the gain on the microphone, I put it approximately to 90%. As you noticed, I installed the foam filter on the Mawono PM422 microphone because I noticed some popping when I used it without any filter. I prefer the foam filter to the pop filter because it doesn't take too much space. So now this is the voice coming from this Mawono microphone and I'm going to be comparing it to my Mawono AU903 ferry microphone and let me show it to you. So this is the AU903 ferry microphone. If you want to check the review for this microphone, please take a look in the description of a video I made earlier on this microphone and you'll find something interesting in this video. I'm not going to tell you, just go and look at the video. So now I'm going to switch to my Mawono ferry microphone so that you can hear the difference and so that you can also like put a baseline on how good this microphone is. So I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to switch an OBS to my Mawono ferry microphone. So here now is the Mawono ferry microphone that I adjusted earlier to get the same gain as the PM422 microphone. And as you notice, and I listened to both outputs afterwards, you're going to notice a little bit like a small hissing in the background of the AU903 microphone, the ferry microphone, whereas the PM422 microphone really has a clean output. And in my opinion, it is far better than the AU903 microphone. 
This is not to say this is a bad microphone. It's a very good microphone, but the PM422 is a better microphone. So here I switched back to the AU PM422 microphone. And I'm going to tell you that I really didn't find anything that I didn't like about this microphone. It is affordable. It comes with all necessary kit to install it. And then you go straight and go do your recordings. So you don't have to buy anything else. It has a really long USB cord, which is a really good thing. The build quality is outstanding. I also like the outstanding sound quality that it records. It really has no background noise. It really has a clear really clear recording voice and I really like it and what I like about it also is that it has an output a jack so that you can monitor what you're talking and also it has a microphone gain and it also has a mute button which is a touch button and this is very important so that you don't hear the sound of a button when you press it so it's touch you don't hear anything when you want to mute your microphone so I hope that you liked my video and found it useful and I also hope that my video will help you in your decision in purchasing a microphone for you and in purchasing maybe this microphone or some other microphone. And I'm going to thank you all for watching. I really hope to see you in the next video.